Hello everyone, Yui here, and kind of with a review video. Obviously I did not just get the arena, I've had this for about two months-ish, but I kind of felt like doing a review of something other than just Bakugan while showing them off, but I guess this is kind of the same thing? I don't know. But here is the Pro Coliseum uh, arena. So you can see it's actually almost the size of the playmat, which I didn't even think about before because this is the first time I put it on top of the playmat. And this is the same night as uh, the deck update and the Empower deck profile of sorts video, so there's fireworks going off in the background because it is New Year's Eve and people are setting them off early. It is 11.28, so maybe I can finish this before midnight? Let's find out. Okay, but first of all, you do get an exclusive Bakugan with this uh, Coliseum. Just doesn't want to stay completely flat for some reason. But it is the core version of Halcor X Serpentis, which was seen in the Fusion video. And comes with two normal shields, of course. I don't even know if these are the ones they came with. I just grabbed two uh, normal shields out of my uh, core drawers. But about the little feet in the back. Dang fireworks. But it's a core version of Core Serpentis. And as compared with the uh, Ultra. It is nice that they did do core versions of these fusions, but you know, some of them are locked behind exclusive stuff. <laughs> but here's the character card. Two shields, 400B, four damage, three to fuse. And on the fusion, it is 705 compared to the Ultra's character card, where it is 700B, 2 damage, 5 energy. I am sorry, headphone users. And the fusion, uh, 1100 versus the 7, and 1 less damage, 4 to 5. So yeah. And it comes with the exclusive gear card, Arliss Laser, 3 cost, Darkest Arliss. Shadow Strike, 200B, and uh, 2 damage. It's funny, it has the code for uh, Drago Infinity if it focuses. Come on. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it has the code for Drago Infinity, but you don't get this with Dragonoid Infinity, you get it with the arena. But, uh, let's fill this bad boy up with horrors, shall we? I have all my decks kind of set out to the side here because you this is meant for pro play kind of so you get these drawers in there you hold two separate teams you got placement for your cores or more bakugan and deck slots i hate fireworks i'm sorry now you can place a fully sleeve deck in here but it will like refuse to close with a fully sleeved deck in there, and you will risk hurting your cards. But she can. Let's just grab these guys, throw them in the drawer there. There we go. It's not even midnight, it's like 30 minutes to midnight, people. I'm gonna try and talk louder over the fireworks, but I don't know how well that will work. But let's place out the back of gun. Uh, there are slots back here for the character cards, but there's not like any like clips or anything, so they just lean. They lean. <sighs> we'll just. Those are more than likely off camera. But uh, okay. Let's just load up this matrix, and I kind of put this. In the base of the... let's see. Yeah, it's like 
lined up with the uh, play mat, sort of. So center, center. So let's get the usual uh, setup going. Now, as you can see, this is made for like trick shots and such, but no one will who plays uh, Bakugan Pro TCG is rolling on this thing because plastic. It sucks for rolling. Okay, let's get out the Bar Betra deck. I might need to just go around to the other side of the table for this one rather than try and reach across the camera. Much easier. Let's put the character cards there. Again, probably off. Just off the of frame. Get the bees all situated. I, they. Like you can see, the cores are struggling to just stay in place. I mean, that is a problem for uh, on a mat, anyways, but they stick a lot better on an actual play mat surface and not just, you know, plastic. And we'll just put that there. And again, these side bits are kind of made for trick shots. Let's see. Nope. <laughs> but yeah, you just kind of obviously Start here, and then like that was. Let me get on this side. Okay, let's go. Turn the right way. Trucks. Yeah, it, it it works, but it doesn't. Like all these cores just became a quick hot mess. Again, way worse than a actual play mat. But I wanted to show off this video, or this for the video, so. I actually have some videos on my Instagram of some good, oh, so close, trick shots done. Uh, doing this, uh, whoa, not that, but trick shots of doing it like off the sides in uh, standing on my Instagram. By now, those posts are buried. Okay, let's try. I'm gonna try a couple more times. And there you go. I was about to say, we may need to try a different Bakugan. Let's try with Drago Tregoras. Yeah, nope. But yeah, you'll get the point. So you. Grab a core and just kind of, I guess, leave them there. I don't know. Uh, right. That's the other core of that deck. So, yeah. This has been a fun little quick video. And, of course, I don't even know where you would technically put your decks. I guess off to the sides. Because unlike the play mat, there's no dedicated spot. Let's see. I don't even know where you would play your flips, or put, or put your energy rather. Cause like, let's see, let's just say I'm brawling. It's like, where can I put energy on here? I guess on the outside, like uh, the deck. But I guess same would have to be for heroes, cause it's not like you can leave that there because Bakugan will roll over it. Go back, Nelius. Because I mean, for playing cards, that's as easy as just placing it down there. And then, like, seeing it kind of over here for a discard. But for heroes, that would also have to be, like, off the side. And you can't even really see your heroes. So, I mean, I forget about heroes normally, but that would just make it worse. So, again, this is cool in design and cool for, like, younger players, I guess. And a bit more fun way for the toy battling game, in a sense, if you use the gate cards. 
but otherwise for pro play like it was designed for not that great but yeah i honestly mostly bought it just for the uh exclusive help core and the uh gear card so yeah that will be it for this video apparently i accidentally opened up itunes on my laptop that's fine nothing will play but yeah, hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Uh, check out the links in the description down below. I have a uh, Bakugan playlist. You can check that out, see if there's any videos you may have missed. And I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!